All right, guys, as you guys can see, y'all see this big gallon of jug right here full of water? This is the way I brush my teeth in my semi truck. You can actually get one of these in Walmart. So you need something to actually hook it up to the truck so when you're driving, it's not flying everywhere because <laughs> you don't want none of this water just flying everywhere. So what I do here, I basically, you know, put a toothpaste on my toothbrush, put a little bit of water on it, start brushing my teeth. And um, every time I need some water, I grab this cup and put it in my mouth and spit it out. And I'll spit it out in here, as you guys can see. And when you're done with that water, you can actually throw it out the truck. That's, it's just that easy. Because you're gonna have some places where you're gonna be stuck and there's no bathroom, there's nothing. So you're basically stuck. <laughs> you gotta do what you have to do. And this is why I made a video and I talked about a hey, trucking is not easy out here. It's not easy out here, man. You're gonna have days you can't even take a shower. And I know some people can't go a day without taking a shower. There's gonna be days you're gonna be two or three days without taking a shower. That's how crazy it gets, man. It gets crazy like that out here. And um, you wanna make sure, you know, before you come in over the road, you wanna make sure you got everything. Make sure you got extra toothpaste, uh, soap, whatever you need. I mean, you could bring your own towel. Like, I bring my own towel because uh, I don't like to use towels that's actually in these truck stops. And another thing, these right here, these gonna be your best friend. You see this right here? It's gonna be your best friend. These are baby wipes. These are baby wipes. These would be your best friend out here. Why? Because, let me turn it. Why? Because you're gonna need that to take a shower. I mean, yeah, basically a shower. Sorry, I, I'm trying to turn this light on over here so y'all can see see me better but uh but yeah like i was saying at the same time too there's gonna be places you gotta take a piss you have to take a piss so bad you want to pull over and take a piss but you know at the same time you don't want a dot to pull behind you while you're taking that piss so you want to have a gallon like i have i buy these regular gallons of water and that's what I actually take my regular gallon of water that you can buy from Walmart and just pour it all in here so you can brush your teeth, wash your face, whatever you have to do. And the gallon, what I do with the gallon, I take the gallon and I piss in it. I have no choice. Sometimes you have no choice. But sometimes, you know, you can pull over and pee on the side somewhere. But or sometimes you can find a rest area and pee, but it's hard, man. It's, it's not easy as everybody think it is. Easy. People think, hey, man, I'm going to come on this road and make all this money. It's not that easy, man. And sometimes you wake up so tired. I mean, you look at my face right now. I look like I'm tired, right? I mean, I'm not really tired, but I just look like that because, you know, you, you, you got to get back used to it. So I just came back out here. I just started working again with my company. So that's why it, I got to get back used to the process. But that's the big thing, man. Like sleep is the number one thing. You want to make sure you get that sleep because it ain't like at home. You can go to sleep anytime you want. It's not like that. You can get that sleep out the way. Try to get much of sleep as you can. Don't get off your shift and, and uh, try to explore just be a door explorer and you want to explore all these cities and no nah, don't do that you know you could take some of your time and do some things if you have your days off then you do it but days you have to work please don't do that because you're going to be exhausted when it's time for you to drive now you like man why did i do that to myself don't do it another thing these roads man road conditions it's very bad out here. Very, very bad out here. So you gotta really be careful on these road conditions. 
And please, man, when it's snowing out here, don't speed. At the end of the day, you're going to make it. It's going to take longer, but you're going to make it. Speeding, that's why people are losing their life out here. You got families out here taking trips with their family. It's spring break, too, but it's snowing in some places like where I'm at. Take your time. You're going to make it. That's, that's another thing. But the number one thing, you get that CDL, you come out here. That's another thing that people have to know. If you have road rage, don't come out here. <laughs> don't come out here. Before you get that CDL, don't come out here. Because let me tell you something. People don't respect truck drivers. People really don't respect. I always respected truck drivers. Always, my whole life. And there's people out here that just don't respect truck drivers. They'll cut you off. They'll do whatever it takes. Some of them will actually just jump in front of you and slam their brakes. Like they want to hit you. They, I mean, they want you to hit them. So that's another thing, man. And just eat, eating like... That's that's another thing. Like eating out here, man, it's it's terrible. It's it's like real terrible. Like eating food out here is terrible. You stop at these truck stops, they don't have nothing healthy for you. <laughs> You'll see like little small fruits, but then it's like, okay, truck drivers make good money. You would think truck stops would be smart enough to like, you know, buy stuff that's kind of healthy for these truck drivers to try to help. Because like I told you, when I first came out here, Sometime I had no choice but to buy that uh, pizza they have in damn near every truck stops. Uh, uh, what else? Wings. Damn near in every truck stop. A McDonald's in every freaking truck stop. Why don't y'all put something healthy in these damn truck stops, man? Because y'all trying to kill us. And that's what almost happened to me. I went and got my blood test. And, man, everything was coming back bad for me. And that's why I was out for a while. But that's another thing, man. Your eating habit out here, you better be careful on what you're eating because all you're doing is driving and you need to exercise. Get out that truck. Take a walk if you have to. Do some push-ups. Do whatever. Whatever you have to do to work out, work out. You want to work out out here because it's tough, man. I'm telling you, it's very tough when you're not home. When you're home, you do whatever the hell you want. You got time to do whatever you want. You can eat whatever you want. You don't have to worry about, oh, uh, damn, I can't take a shower today. You go jump in your tub and take a shower. Or uh, what I'm going to eat today. You know, you have to worry about all this stuff out here. And you got to use wipes to wipe yourself down. <laughs> you a grown man, but you got to use wipes out here to keep yourself clean because you can't take a shower. And man, it's crazy. You really don't think about how bad it is, how bad a human being can stink until you go through that. You really realize, like, damn, this is tough. It's really tough. But you have to have the heart. Trucking ain't for everybody. So I'm just making this video to warn the new truckers that's coming out here and thinking, it's easy to just make that money, make that money, make that money. If you can't handle it, do your research before you come out. Because trucking takes a lot of dedication and it's all up here. All up here. And why I say it's all up here? Because it's a mental thing. You know, all you're doing is just driving and you're looking for warnings all day basically because anybody can cut you off anytime any accident can happen anytime so it's all up here and it's all up here on if you can make it out here so yeah this is the video that i made for you guys and please subscribe to this channel because i will make more videos i make reaction videos and i do trucking videos on the side so follow me and I keep you guys tuned. Y'all have a great day.